who then resigns, Prussian nobility in arms. Rudin's press secretary issued a statement to the press while Rudin himself sent a letter of resignation to the Kaiser. This follows a now weeks long controversy in which Schleicher attempted to become the minister president of Prussia, something which did little to endear him to the Prussian nobility or Rudin. This is what newspapers all across Germany read on the morning of the 18th of June 1936. Emperor Wilhelm put down his newspaper after reading the headline and a few brief sentences. Looking to his eldest son, he exclaimed, This is what I feared. I appointed Schleicher because he gave me direct influence in the Reichstag while also being a popular figure amongst the public. But in the back of my mind, I feared something like this would take place. After all, his last name quite literally means to sneak. I will have no choice but to appoint a new minister-president who is much more favorable towards the Prussian nobility. I just hope Schleicher can successfully manage damage control, Wilhelm said calmly. Father, the Kaiser's eldest son Friedrich replied, you know my feelings on the matter. I never wanted Schleicher to begin with. We should have sided with the DVLP. They will reverse the liberal reforms we were forced to adopt in order to appease the German public so that we could win the Weltkrieg. Friedrich said assertively. The Kaiser sighed, but before he could reply, a servant came rushing in. My Kaiser, the servant said while bowing, I have news about the Zentrum. Speak, said the Kaiser. Zentrum leadership has collapsed. Both the SPD and DVLP are vying for control over the party. They would rather pick apart a fellow party than actually fix our economic situation, said the servant. The Kaiser was silent for a moment before exclaiming, I will have to meet with Schleicher so that we might come up with a plan for damage control. In the meantime, make sure the press get as little information as possible. We cannot delegitimize our government in the eyes of the people by allowing them to hear of this disaster. It was party politics that brought about Black Monday and it is still party politics that prevents recovery. As for Prussia, the Kaiser said, turning towards his son. I will instruct Schleicher to reshuffle the Prussian ministries so that our new minister-president can't cause as many problems as Rödern did. With that, the Kaiser dismissed his son and the servant from his dining room. 